Good morning, my YouTube friend, Teresa here. It is Saturday morning, August 15, 2015. Very happy birthday to my granddaughter, Emma. She turned, she officially turned 11 today. It is right now. It is 75 degrees out. It's supposed to be up to 95 and down to 55. Um, clear blue sky, slightly breezy out. And it's about a quarter after nine in the morning here in Wyoming. Yes, I'm up a little bit earlier. I slept really hard again last night. I want to thank everybody for putting up with my insane videos the past three days. I know they've been kind of crazy and stuff, and that's what happens when you have the grandkids over and the husband home from work and all that kind of good stuff. We had a good time, but the grandkids left last night. We needed them too. We were so exhausted, but we did manage to also exhaust the now 11 year old. She had to take a nap yesterday while she was here, and she just kept going on about how tired she was. And I said, Try putting 40 years on that because I'm 51, and she's 11. <laughs> You know, so that made me feel better because, you know, we managed at our age and with our health problems, our physical problems to exhaust these two children. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, but they went home last night and my husband and I kind of limped off, you know, into bed. He went to bed a little bit early. I went to bed about my normal time, which is, well, you know, I went to bed at midnight. Um... Yeah, so like I said, after he goes to bed, it's usually my time to watch uh, YouTube videos and sit there and, and work on making scarves and stuff. So that's what I did. I haven't really gotten to do that because my schedule's been all crazy with the grandchildren being here and stuff. So, you know. Coffee for the wind. Oh, well, today what I need to do I need to do some dishes, of course. And then I need to uh, fold a bunch of laundry. And then I want to vacuum. I'm not sure. I may wait and just ask my husband to tomorrow. For some reason, the vacuuming really bothers my um, uh, hip and back and stuff. And that's really, it's really aching today. It's really complaining to me. <laughs> you know, it's barking at me. My left hip especially. So, probably need to take it a little easy today. You know, take some Tylenol. Uh, take it a little easy. So, you know. But other than that, um, see, I'm, I want to need to do some research on a few things. And then, um, uh... I'm going to start uh, casting off on that order for that Afghan that, that came in and and for uh, Yetimar or Ken, Mr. Cross, <laughs> and the cold colors, and work on some more scarves. Um, speaking of scarves, I wanted to show you guys, um, I got, I told you guys I got in those, and I, I think I showed you guys... I showed you guys yesterday the purple one I did for my granddaughter. Um, I did a couple more yesterday. Um, I just wanted to show. This one's not all the way finished yet. But it's this beautiful kind of peach, almost a salmon color. I will have three of these up for sale. Um, I have this beautiful, I call it peacock colors. It's the greens and the blues and stuff. And I have two of these that will be up for sale. I have, I will have two of these, or one of these, that in this color that will be up for sale. One of these. I will have one in a solid green. I'll have one that is just pink and purple variegated with silver. I will have one that is blue and, and it's just variegated blues with silver. I will have two of these black with silver for sale. Um, 
one of these uh, blue with silver, two of these purple that are just like the picture I showed of my granddaughters. Um, let's see. And I will have one of these green, kind of my granddaughter called it fall color, green and camel color. Tracy B thought of you on this one with a little bit of silver running through it. And one of these, I call it kind of a rainbow. And then the only one, other one that I have, which is not actually going to be for sale, and it's in this fall color, I'm saving this one for me, is this one. But there is a preview of some of the colors coming, if anybody's interested. Oh, I'm going to be making some of these for around Christmas time. It's going to be half green, half red. So, anybody's interested, message me. Or, you know, comment below or message me on Facebook. It is $15 for one, $25 for two, um, and it includes shipping in the lower 48. Um, uh, that's how I pay for my medical bills. We're still paying off medical bills from from uh, my lumpectomy and, and me being on oxygen and everything. And then all my, like, my co-pay this month alone ended up being... $305. Put another couple hundred dollars for prescriptions that, that we pay just out of pocket. And then, I mean, that's really a big bite. So, this is how, how I help pay for this. This is also how we are able to do some fun things with the grandkids. So, you know, you know, if anybody's interested, let me know. Um, I am going to try next, uh, one of these days to make a ruffle uh, skirt for uh, a little girl, you know, just because I, I think they're so cute. Um, um, eight in a string. She's um kind of tired of drinking um protein shakes every morning, so I'm eating some string cheese this morning instead. Um, what else going on? Nothing much out, just trying to get everything back to normal. Diet, eating wise, was not perfect, but pretty good. I mean, made the kids finish up all the birthday cake, made them drink all the chocolate milk. Um, my grandkids aren't really big into food. It's not like, oh, grandma makes, you know. Or Nana makes, they call me Nana. Which, and I don't want to have them be. So, since my husband and I eat such different things than what kids would really like. Cause these kids are used to, they don't really like vegetables or anything. It's not my place to make them, I'm the Nana. So we just take them to the store and have them pick out some, some TV dinner for one meal a day. The banquet, you know, which are only a dollar each, and they just get the biggest kick out of that. And then we hear no complaint about not liking what's served for dinner because they picked it. So, I mean, we have to meet that out in the kitchen so we don't have to smell it. Yeah. Works out really great. And then, of course, they always have yogurt and stuff. We did buy some cookies this time, put them in a the container for them. I think they ate more yogurt than watermelon. I don't care. No, I just made sure I bought the kind of cookies I don't like. So, <laughs> you know, so I don't eat them. I'm not more one much really for store bought cookies anyway. Never have been. But, yeah, that's about all we got going on. Like I said, my left hip is really hurting. I need to take some time off. Kind of hard to get off your hip, though. Just gotta sit on it. <laughs> you know. You know. I can lay down later and put a pillow between my legs and... Do that, but 
You can go on well. What do you guys got going on? Anything, anything, anything? I'm probably going to do a video. Well, I know I am. Here in a little bit at my other channel. Talking more about the evening and stuff. So, be ready for that. Um, yeah. I'm just kind of obsessed with making these scarves right now. Making me some curves, you know what I mean? I really enjoy doing them. I do. Really enjoy watching a movie. Oh! Have you all seen that movie, Transcend Transcendence? Got giant depth in it. Oh, man. If you have it, and it was released in 2014, it's basically, you know, um, I won't tell you all about it, but it's good. We watched it last night. It was so good. A lot of times I have a hard time staying focused on a movie. I sat there riveted. I loved that movie. Another really good one, and I'm going to rewatch it probably today, is The Hollow Man. Yeah, so, with Kevin Bacon. Is that his name, Kevin Bacon? I hope so. But anyway, those were two good movies. Um, anyway, that's all I really got to say on here, guys. You know, at the end of the summer, current blast was a grandkids, and, you know, that's it. And I got a new cell phone from my mom last night. Been texting me. <laughs> but anyway, I think you guys are all awesome. And remember that I love you guys. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.